Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Paint with Lovejoy podcast. Thanks so much for joining me today. In today's episode, I'm going to be introducing my first time painter boot camp. And this boot camp is for any painter that um, is a little scared to paint. Maybe you've taken a few paint and sip classes and you want to paint at home, but you don't know where to start. Or you look at tutorials online and you go, oh, that's too tough. I can't do that. This boot camp is going to give you the confidence that you can paint at home and that you can look at some of those tutorials and go, yes, I can give that a try. So stay tuned and check out how I can take you from a scared painter into a confident painter. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Paint with Lovejoy podcast, the place where first time and beginner painters can learn more about acrylic painting, the mindset of learning a new skill, and where your creative questions will be answered. Thanks for joining. If you can relate to the following experiences, you are a scared creative. You've enjoyed the paint and sip experience multiple times, and you want to paint at home, but you're not sure where to start. You're also a scared creative. If you follow the Art Sherpa and Ginger Cook or Painting with Jane, and you like many of their tutorials, but you think they're too hard for you to paint, that means you're a scared creative. And if 90% of the projects that are presented to you at work or through your kids or through friends or family, and your immediate reply is, I'm not creative, I can't paint, um, then you are a scared creative. So you are in luck. A scared creative can move very quickly into a confident painter. Now I want to dive in a little bit more about what a scared creative actually is. A scared creative is somebody that wants to paint, wants to paint and is creative, but they're scared their painting will look bad. They're terrified they'll fail. They're afraid their friends and family will make fun of them. They decline any creative project presented to them. They're envious of others' natural creativity. And they're jealous when they see kids create without thinking or judgment. That's a scared creative. And if you fit into that category or any one of those um, topics, totally okay. With a little bit of practice, um, we can turn you into a confident creator, a confident painter. And you are in luck because I have been teaching first time and beginner painters for the last 15 years. And I have personally been amazed. And it's one of the things that keeps me moving forward with teaching this way is watching that transition of somebody that comes into my class and goes, I'm not creative. I can't do this. I'm horrible. And literally in the course of one class to watch them transform and when they walk out of my studio with their shoulders back a little bit more and huge smiles on their faces, um, it really gives me a very proud teacher moment. So I am confident that I can help you um, find your inner confident painter. Now, as we talk about the confident painters, let's talk about what a confident painter understands. They have an understanding of the tools and the supplies involved. A confident painter is going to have a comfort level with um, using the tools and mixing the paint. You're going to have a positive mindset and always kind of in the mindset of learning and getting better. You're going to learn to be kind to yourself as you learn a new skill and step out of your comfort zone. And a confident painter is willing to try creative things that scare them and know that it's part of the journey and part of the process and that they can do it if they take it one step at a time. And the best part about a confident painter is when you look back on your creative journey, you're gonna see your growth and by seeing your growth, that's gonna build more confidence for trying new things. And like I said earlier, I am thrilled and so honored to help so many people um, find their inner confident painter. I've got a nice method for you. So for that first time painter boot camp, this is a four week boot camp, and I'm gonna take you from I can't or I'm not creative into a confident painter. And you will be getting weekly feedback from me on your artwork, um, and I'm gonna help uh, 
acknowledge the places that your strengths are and what you're doing really good and encourage you to kind of push those. And I'm also going to see the places of maybe try this for the next painting or maybe relax a little bit more. I'm going to be able to observe those places to push you and help you grow tremendously in the four weeks um, that we'll be doing this boot camp. And in the boot camp, it's going to cover your basic and affordable supplies. And I'll email you links prior to even the start of the boot camp um, to if you want to acquire your supplies before they start. Uh, you're going to have information on how to set up your space at home, your mindset for beginning a new skill. Some of the videos will have traceables, so those will be downloadable. Um, and you'll also get videos on how to transfer your traceable to your painting surface. And the most important part is you are going to have weekly assignments and you have 30 options um, that you can choose from and I'll give you weekly options and I highly recommend doing a minimum of two paintings each week. Um, you can do more, please do more if you feel like it, but try to commit to doing four uh, two paintings each week, and that's roughly four hours, maybe even less. If you are a fast painter, you might finish in two hours. Um, but basically, if you can commit to doing two paintings a week, that's going to give you a nice basis to grow from week to week. And then I'll give you some stuff at the end of the month um, that I want you to work on as you continue to grow your skills. So it's going to be um, quite a bit that you'll be getting in those four weeks. Now with this, you will actually have full lifetime access to all the tutorials, all 30 tutorials in this course for the rest of your life or as long as the course is up. You'll also have access to two libraries of basic information for painting at home and kind of a general color mixing library. And you can utilize both of those in reference if you have any questions or for the color mixing if you're not sure what two colors might look like when you mix it. Um, those libraries are there uh, just for your added value. Now, during the four weeks of live support from me, we are gonna have a few options for you to be able to reach out to me individually and as a group. You will be invited to join a private Slack group and everybody in the boot camp will be invited to join that. And you're able to post pictures, you can ask me questions, you can post questions to the group, you can share your tips and uh, feedback, um, but a nice place that it's gonna be just a group only for um, the First Time Painter boot camp. And weekly, we are going to have a live Q&A. It'll generally be Sunday evenings, and you will receive a link to join the Zoom call. And if you can't make it, um, I will record that session, and the replay will be available um, for you for the duration of the boot camp. So, got you covered. Um, prior to that live weekly call, I'm going to encourage that you guys actually email me your questions prior, so that way I can kind of group them together and maybe address a few questions at the same time, but I'm also going to allow it to be live um, so you can ask your questions in, uh, in real time. You're also going to get weekly feedback from me on the artwork that you'll upload, and I'll give you uh, I'll point out all the strong stuff that you're doing and the things that you're doing really well. Uh, so that way you continue to do those. And also a few places uh, that I might want you to work on for your next painting or things to just kind of keep an eye on or even things to stop doing or just relax a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to find ways that I can kind of keep pushing you each week so that way your skills can grow from week to week, from painting to painting. Um, and again, giving you that confidence that when you're done with the boot camp, that you can look at other tutorials or other paintings you want to do and go, yeah, I can do that. Let's do it. Um, and then at the end of the month, we are going to have a group art show. I'll do probably a Zoom link. I'll figure out, um, still uh, figuring out how to do that. I um, am trying to get with a friend to do a 3D gallery so I can put your guys' artwork in frames and stuff in there so we can all kind of walk through that. So kind of future goals for me to get forward um, on that. But there will be a group show, whether we just do it through a slideshow in the Slack group or through a Zoom call, um, we're gonna have that. And just a nice way to celebrate everything that you guys have learned and just um, encourage everybody to continue to keep growing. 
So I am super excited to be able to share this with you guys. And I have been teaching for 15 years and I've been dreaming of being able to open up type of, a type of school like this um, online and being able to help so many people kind of discover their joy of painting. And in those years of experience, I've discovered quite a few ways of um, specific things that first time painters, things that really scare you. I've figured out how to kind of word stuff and make it a little bit more logical and an easier approach for you guys. And that's kind of what I call my love joy method. You'll be gaining um, an understanding of your basics of acrylic painting. You're gonna be cultivating a positive mindset and I'm gonna have a lot of tips and uh, different perspectives for you to look at as you um, start your creative journey. You're gonna learn that pro uh, practice makes progress, not perfect. Because as you go along, your idea of perfect and your idea of a good painting is gonna change as you learn more. So practice makes progress, not perfect. And I'm gonna make sure that you learn that if you push your skills, you're gonna keep growing. When you don't step out of your comfort zone and don't push your skills, you do kind of become stagnant. So anytime that you feel like you've plateaued, that means that you need to kind of just step out of your comfort zone and try th something that you may seem um, a little bit challenging at the time. And the most important thing that you are gonna discover is the relaxing benefits of painting. This is absolutely the reason why I teach and why I want so many people to discover creativity for their lives. By bringing something creative, by bringing painting into your world, it's gonna balance out the other aspects of your life, the other crazy stressful things in your world between your work, your family, traffic, your, your friends, uh, social media, politics, all those things that bring stress to you. When you have a creative outlet, it brings a little bit more balance and you'll be amazed that you're gonna start looking forward to your creative time, to your you time, your de-stressing from the week. And again, that is the reason why I teach, the reason why I'm encouraging first time and beginner painters to find their creative outlets. All right, guys, so if you are ready and excited about the first time painter boot camp, I will be taking you from a scared creative into a confident painter where you'll be ready to tackle all kinds of new projects that today you might feel are a little too intimidating. So with the boot camp, you will increase your uh, creative and painting confidence. So to do that, go ahead, add your name to the wait list. You will receive a welcome email to confirm that you're on the wait list, and then you'll receive more information and that early bird registration link. Because I am personally gonna be giving everybody feedback and helping them move along, I can only work with so many people um, for those four weeks. So please sign up sooner rather than later once that registration does open for you. And I look forward to, you know, just all the places that you're gonna grow. And by stepping out of your comfort zone and doing this, it's gonna make other things that you wanna do uh, by stepping out of your comfort zone, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna be with you every step of the way uh, for the painting process. And like I said earlier, it's gonna give you some great confidence to go, yeah, I am creative, I can paint. And that personally is one of my goals to get um, many, many more people being able to say that about themselves because we all are genuinely creative. Just some of us have it hidden a little bit more um, or just haven't given them given themselves the opportunity to get creative. So this is a great place, a great workshop for you to get uh, comfortable and to build those skills. So until next time, I will see you in the boot camp. Cheers.